Hey everyone, happy Friday. I have so many good things to show you today. It's not a crazy amount of things, but luckily, remember last Friday I told you I had a Sephora package coming and a Nordstrom package. So I got those, I think like Monday or even maybe on the weekend. So I have been using these products. I can tell you how I feel about them. And I've got a few favorites from a couple of videos past that I can. But what I want to do first is go ahead and show you the clothes that I got so I can get rid of them on the back of my chair. Bubba has decided, oh, did he move? No, nope. he's still right here. Bubba has decided he's going to sit under me. I have on just that top that you guys have seen before that is from Dylan Lex. And then I have on a skirt that you're going to love. And the reason I know you're going to love it is because you loved that purple one that I had on that was also from Zara. And that one was old. This one I just got. And to be honest with you, it's better because that other purple one had like some... I don't know if it was kind of like a twist thing right here and it kind of made it look like your tummy was sticking out a little bit. This one doesn't have that and it has this beautiful covered button feature that almost looks, I don't know, does it look Asian a little bit? I'm kind of going with more of a, I don't know, I will say gypsy, but when I say that I just mean kind of like boho and just a little bit of everything mixed together. And let me show you these things and then I'll put my shoes on and back up and show you. Okay, third time, third time ordering these. These are the liquid denim from Rag and Bone. They are the Miramar. Remember the first time I got them, I mean, I could look at them until they were gonna be too big, but I knew that they were supposed to hang. That's the beauty of them. See, they look like jeans, but they're gonna wear like trousers. So the first time I ordered was a 27. The next time I ordered was a 26. This time, I think I'm gonna get it at a 25. I will wear these soon, maybe even tomorrow. I'm looking forward to wearing these like with a bodysuit and heels. I just think that'll look so good. And I ended up going with this a little bit darker denim instead of the real light one, because I thought it might be better for the fall. The, okay, the Zara dress that I wore last time. I bought that. I bought this skirt and then these two dresses at that on that same thing. Let's see. I've got it all mixed up here because I was scrambling for hangers up here. I had to bring some up. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous slip dress. Let's see. It's got crisscrossy straps. So it's hard to hold up and show you. I think, okay, this is what they're gonna do. They're gonna crisscross in the back like that, but look at that lace work, and then the back goes down, and then it's going to be, you know, like a long flowy dress. This is going to be your perfect under your denim jacket, under your leather moto jacket under a really cool cardigan or a blazer. It's just going to be a great piece to layer with. Like even, look at that, open work right there. Just so pretty, so pretty and so inexpensive for such a good look. And this one is similar. This is much more substantial. Like it is, it is lined all through here. Looks like the, um, is the bodice lined too? Okay, it's not, but it's a pretty thick satin. And the color, oh my goodness, gorgeous. Just a beautiful, like dusty, pansy blue color. A little bit of periwinkle, same concept. Wear now by itself, but put a little cardigan on with it. A long, flowy, like, free people type cardigan, a blazer, a moto, anything. These are the pieces that are just gonna 
I don't know, just make an outfit. Just think when you're going out with another couple, you just won't be plain Jane. You will be wearing something different and easy and not very expensive. Just buy some dresses like this that aren't very expensive and then get yourself a nice moto and some nice sweaters and stuff like that to wear over it. Just even like a, um, what are we gonna call them? My first thought is shawl but something like that, a wrap to go over it. Very beautiful. It can be very Kate Moss, very, oh, you could put your denim jacket over it. You could even throw a sweatshirt over this and wear it. Just lots of possibilities. Okay, then I have one of you to thank for these. One of you wrote me, I think on either Instagram, I think it was on Instagram, and you said that I would love the split leg leggings by Norma Kamali. And I'm going to love, the, I love anything by Norma Kamali because of this. The ultimate, ultimate travel wear because you can just fold them, roll them up in your suitcase. I have had many of her dresses, jumpsuits, and I'm telling you, her clothes saved me when I was not feeling good about myself. But there was just something about her jumpsuits and everything I could put on and I still felt comfortable. I felt good about myself and it was just easy. It was just easy. So here are the leggings and you can see that they flare out a little at the bottom and the best part is they open in the front so that it's gonna give you that look and it's gonna showcase your shoes, boots, heels, no matter what. Love them, love them. Thank you so much for telling me about these. And I did get the small 32. They're called the spat legging and machine wash and hang dry. And I bought those and this at Revolve just because I love the Anina Bing sweatshirts so much. And what a cool outfit is this going to be? You know, like this with these leggings. And I would do a pointy pump. Um, maybe the Bottega sandals, not the mules, but the sandals, or even a ankle boot, something like that, I think is your perfect, really cool outfit. I love this sweatshirt. It's, I think I got a small, I will write it down below, but of course the sweatshirts are oversized, and I'm not typically a hoodie girl, but I just loved this one. See how it's got like that worn-in look, and now that I'm wearing my hair up a little bit more, then I know I'm gonna love this. And then this also is gonna be the perfect like um, hoodie or sweatshirt to wear under a big oversized blazer or any, like your big puffer. I'm thinking of people that live in like the really cold weather because it's got that just a little bit of interest. Right there, it's the perfect color. I just love it. I'm really excited about this one. Okay, and then the next awesome thing I got this week, and this was a surprise. This is Marnie, Miss Gold Girl, her collaboration with GG New York. I have heard of this handbag company, but I've never seen anything in person. So I have to admit that I, did not realize the quality that would be here in this bag. Now, Marnie did ask my for my initials, and I didn't know why. And that's just my personality to probably not ask. <laughs> but I ended up getting this fabulous bag. This is her collection. Let's see, it's the Marnie Satchel. It's been a long-held dream of mine to design the exact handbag that I've been looking for I could never find. I decided on every detail to create what I hope is the perfect everyday bag, whether you're running around town with errands, going out with friends, taking your little ones to the playground, or traveling far from home. Love it. I, you guys, I really have to say, I'm impressed. First of all, I love this handle, and I love that it is... What is this called? Not tweed, not canvas, but you guys know what I mean. You can see it. That gives it a little bit of casualness so that when you're wearing something like this, it looks good. I also love that it's mixed with the leather. 
my initials, <laughs> everybody got a kick out of this on Instagram. I think I've said this before that my real name is Melissa. And, but from birth, as long as I can remember, I've been called Lisa. It's kind of like John with the nickname Jack or a lot of Melissa's are Missy. And so, but what's funny is when I was little, you know, the, the teacher would call your name at the beginning of the year. And that was the time that you should raise your hand and say, you know, my, I go by Lisa. That's my nickname and I go by Lisa. But that was just too much for me. I was too overwhelmed. And so until the, probably, I think maybe fourth grade, probably middle school, which when I was little was fifth and sixth, that is when I started having the nerve to tell the teacher that my real name or what I went by was Lisa. So all during school, I would have kids calling me both. So I'll answer to either one. What I love about this is the short handles too. So let me stand up. So you can wear it like this or crossbody and you can take this off. The quality of the hardware I would have to say is probably the most impressive thing to me. It's not only is it pretty, it's very substantial. You guys, I have really, really nice handbags and I have bought plenty of cheap handbags and I have made handbags. So I know the quality of like this zipper. This is your outside compartment, which we all know we love for our phone and the zip top. Okay, this was my biggest request when I made handbags was a zipper top and I did not like doing it. So I would avoid it at all costs because it was not easy to, it just wasn't easy to do. I was so used to doing the other. So I know how many women love a zipper top, not only for safety and not getting anything taken out of your bag, especially when you're traveling, but like in the car, when it, you know, fly, like if you have to stop suddenly and it turns over and it does have the like GG New York right there. So, so impressed with that. Then on the inside, very nice, not obnoxious, very calm. <laughs> and it has a zipper pocket in here. So you can put your valuables and then it has this leather slip pockets and it does come in several different colors. They were just nice enough to send me the black. Thank you to Marnie and Gigi New York for this. I love it. I think it is a very, very sleek, chic, yet practical bag. And I really, really appreciate it. Very nice. See how it's, another thing is it's big, but it's not bulky. I just think it's a really nice bag. I'm just, I have to say, I'm impressed. I mean, he is not moving. I'm just having to adjust all the chairs around them. Let's get into the nitty gritty here. The foundation that I have on today is inspired by Tammy, Tammy's Ageless Beauty. I don't know if you saw her video with her and Lou. That is the first time even I've ever seen Lou. So I really enjoyed that. And when she, when I was watching the video, I immediately texted her and I was like, you look beautiful, which she always does, but there was, her skin was radiant. And I asked her what she was wearing and she was wearing this, which is the Tom Ford Traceless Foundation. The thing is, I had given mine to my mom and she loves it. She has been wearing it like every day, I think, since I've given it to her. The reason I didn't care for the, I think it was called Ivory Beige, is I felt like it was a little too light for me and maybe, I don't know, I just, I wasn't in love with it. So I ended up ordering the Natural 6.0 and that is what I have on today. And it is really an interesting foundation. It is so thin. My one complaint is it does get messy because it, I don't know why, does it, if it keeps coming out of the lid or what, I'm trying to not let that happen on this one, but it just does. It is very, very, very thin. Like it's the type that you would expect to come almost in a shaky bottle with a nozzle, but it has the best coverage. I mean, just really good coverage. So today I used this brush. You know, I've been using my sponge, which I'm getting ready to show you soon. But I thought, I used it, I think, Monday 
with the sponge and I wasn't as crazy about it. I really like this foundation with a brush. If you do not have this little brush, you, you must get it. It would be in my Lisa's Favorites for Life kit. It is just the best little foundation brush and like that is so good for concealer or for uh, paint pots or any kind of cream, you know, for your lids. It is just, it washes well. And a lot of foundation brushes that I like from other companies, they don't, this one is just the right size to get around my little bony, crevicey nose. And it's just perfect. So I love this brush. I wanted to tell you about that. Okay, then let's just go over what I'm wearing. So that was first. Then I went into da -da, this. This is the first time I've worn this today and it is everything I wanted it to be. When I first looked at it, I thought it's going to be too dark. But I thought, no, I'm going to hold out hope for it. So today, this is what I have the only bronzer contour product at all that I have on is this. And I went straight from using this with my foundation to just bouncing in this like that. And then I did get out a mirror so I can show you guys things. And I just kind of bounced it like this with little effort to blend. And it is beautiful. And then I did along my jawline. Oh, it smells good, but it's not too strong. And then brought it down. Just beautiful. If you've been thinking about it, just go ahead and get it. I think you're going to like it. If the regular Chanel bronzer, universal Soleil, Tan de Soleil, whatever it's called, if that is too light or orange, orangey for you, you will love this. It is just... It's beautiful. The next thing I used today, like on the tops of my cheeks, is this Good Going Laura Mercier Team. This powder is beautiful. This, this is a Honey Star, so I think I like the medium. The silver one was the lightest one. This is the medium, and then the rose one is the darkest one. It only takes a few little dots, like in your lid, like that, with a powder brush. And I've been using, you know, I love that Wayne Goss powder brush, the tapered one. That is what I have, like, on the tops of my cheeks. What I do is I start on the tops of my cheeks, and then I kind of, I might even, you know, put some more out, and then I go over the rest of my face. Beautiful. If you like the YSL All Over Glow, you will love this. If you like the Lancome Absolute Powders, oh my gosh, you're gonna love this because it's not as shimmery. It's not as much. This is the perfect marriage of a little bit of glow with a finishing powder. It's not like it doesn't set your skin, but it just has glow. It is just beautiful. I have used it every day. Love it. Then I wanted to give honorable mention to a few of the things that I used in my Walmart Get Ready With Me. This sponge, the Eco Tools Plant Me. I guess they're telling us that that is biodegradable. Love it. And even this morning, I got through with all of my makeup and realized I didn't set under my eyes with my Laura Mercier powder. And when I do that, I'm really using that as a concealer. So I'd already done all my makeup, so I just used one of the Lancome concealers that I showed you, the lightest one, which I love those. Beautiful, smooth, good coverage, just beautiful concealers. I used this. So I've, I've used this. I haven't, I'm not a bouncer with foundation. I'm more of a spreader like that. But just to be able to use this to get in like right here and not spread it too far, just so good. Okay, today I'm wearing this Codate lipstick with Lancome Ideal. If you like the color, it's just beautiful. So I wanted to tell you just how much I love that. Okay, ooh, okay. Let's go on with this. This is the palette 
from Estee Lauder that Hung Van Gogh used for that look. This is what I used the other day when I did my Tough Love video, which thank you very much for your support and your understanding on that. Even when I watched it back, you guys wouldn't believe all the stuff I had to edit out, mostly to get it down to time, but it's just when I feel passionate about something, I could just go on and on. So anyway, thank you for that. So this is what I used the other day and it sold out. And I was thinking, okay, that is not a very, you would think that's not a very unusual palette, but I started pulling out a lot of my palettes and it is because it's cool toned, but yet it's not black. It's just, it's an interesting browny, plummy type brown. Guess what it is very, very similar to? The very palette that I have been loving and telling you about. This is the Dior Mirage. Let me take this little thing out of here. And this is the Estee Lauder palette. So you can see it's a lot of the same tones, but this just has a little bit more plum, I would say, and more shimmer. So today I did the same look with this and I just love this palette. So if you got that, I think you will enjoy it, especially because this palette is matte and I know a lot of people really like to stick with mattes, but this, did I say Coco Mirage? I meant to say Soft Cashmere. That is the color of this palette. So love that. Another palette I think that would be amazing for that look is just your Urban Decay Naked 2 Mini palette. That palette is valuable. That is a good palette. I think many of you would enjoy that. Okay, then another thing that I've been loving from my Walmart haul, a lot of you really like the e.l.f. brow pencil that I used. The only thing is I think I prefer still to use a powder. I think I just, I can't be trusted with a brow pencil. I just overdo it every time. But that brow pencil was a beautiful color, that taupe, and I do love it. So I think that is awesome. But this mascara, this Bambi mascara is amazing. And it wears well and it washes off well. A winner, a definite winner. Okay, so now we're getting, oh, let me tell you one more thing. This is the liner that I got to do that look. It's graphite. It's not the exact liner that he used. He actually used the Sharpen Estee Lauder Double Wear Liner. I like those better. It's funny, in Lancome, I like the roll-up liners better, but in Estee Lauder, I like the Sharpen better. And today I have on the black Estee Lauder, black, what is it? It's just Onyx Sharpen pencil. I sharpened it and I did my wings with it and everything. So that's a little update on my face. Okay, now the other day I had on this foundation. How many times? I would just like $10 for every time I have ordered this foundation. It is the Armani Luminous Silk. I think I've had probably at least five different colors. This time I got the 6.5 and I think I have a winner. I think that's probably my color. I don't know the you know, the description of it, but the other day, this is what I had on. So if you liked what I had on the other day, I had on this and that Laura Mercier powder, and I loved it. And then the other day, another thing I had on that is, it was so hard for me not to use this today because this is a gorgeous product. It is the Sisley Sun Glow Bronzing Gel Powder. Oh, and you're going to say, well, which should I get, this or the Chanel? And then I've even got another one to show you. If you don't like cream products, then get this, because this is more of like the gelée, and this is, this is going to apply, even though that was not, it would, that was so easy to apply that there's not a whole lot of difference, but this might have a little bit more of a glow as you can see, and it might be a little bit more of a warm tan tone, but it's just beautiful, just so soft. Go back to my last video, and this is what I had on my cheeks. 
So many of you had asked me about this, and then many of you told me how much you loved it. So no regrets because Sicily makeup is pricey, but the quality is there. In their skincare, like my friend Amy gave me, their eye cream is really good. I don't know if I've tried any Sicily products that I didn't like. So I ended up, I've got a Nordstrom haul coming with some Sicily products and some Valentino. So look for that probably next week. This was purely out of curiosity. It was this hourglass shadow. How sad. I promised myself I wasn't gonna do a lot of complaining anymore, but why do they do this? I know that the point is to create your own palette, but do does every is that like a big thing? Maybe it is, maybe it's just me. But I almost, just to have a palette, I almost forced myself to pick two more colors and then get the palette. And I was like, no, that's probably not the thing to do. Just try this first, see how much you like it, and then you can create a palette. So I do have this on today. And it is nice. I have it on the inner corner. I'm just going to, can I hold out my definite feeling about that i mean it is nice i think it even looks prettier on my hand than it does on my eyes but my first instinct was should i have just gotten a color pop you know what i mean so i'll have to just hold out my judgment on that and then let you know okay, we're almost done almost done this was just something i saw i don't even know if i got this from sephora or ulta but this is the anastasia cream bronzer in amber I wore this yesterday, we went to the pool. So if I have a picture, you probably can't see it because I had a big hat on and I had sunglasses on, but I was pretty impressed with this too. This, I was applying my Suntegrity, is what I wore to the pool for sunscreen and coverage. And then you can see, I just took my little grubby finger and put it in there and I did a stripe, a stripe, and did it where I usually do and blended it right in. So this also, let's compare this to the Chanel because I think they would be the two here. Wow, okay, this does look a little bit darker. This, I think this might have had a little bit more warmth to it, but that is the comparison. Both really good. I'll have to, the true test to me is what do I reach for? You know, when I'm really not trying to use something new or, you know, trying to review something, what do I reach for? And so far this summer, it has always been that on Physicians Formula D, but I do think I'm gonna be reaching for this a lot and the Sicily and maybe this too. I'll have to use this more and then let you know. Da, 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 da. The last products are by Mario. This is Kim Kardashian's makeup artist that created his own line. You guys know I love his eye palette. Not necessarily the shimmery one. I think I gave that away. I kept his, hey, if he hung around through all these moves, he's done good. His palette is in my drawer. When I compared it today to the, the, um, this Ivory Power by Estee Lauder, it was much more warm. It's definitely a warm neutral palette. But I ordered some of his bronzers and a blush after watching Hung Van Gogh use his stuff in that tutorial. So I got the Soft Sculpt bronzers in light medium and medium. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Both of them. I think I have used them both together. Not a lot of difference at all. I think this is a cooler tone and I think this is a warmer tone. So that's what I would go with. If you're my coloring, decide do you want it to make you look, you know, like a sun goddess bronze or do you want it more of a sculpted Russian girl look? <laughs> if you've been with me, you know the difference. So that would be the difference. I, I really think the light medium can give you both though, but really great pigment, not patchy, blend it in, and not all bronzers do that. Some of them are so patchy. Some of them don't have the right amount of pigment. Some of them just are hard to blend out the edges. So, or, they, or they're just 
I don't know, wrong color. So I really like that, but the best thing ever is one of his blushes. This is the Creamy Peach. I had this on the other day. I think I've worn it, I think I've worn this every day since I got it. This is what I had on the other day. It is just gorgeous. It has a little bit of shimmer. Let me see. Camera will, so you can see it's just not flat. Really, really love it. I probably should take this thing off the mirror. So, and just easy to open. Like, see how it's just kind of like a magnet? That is it, you guys. I think that is all. Oh, no, two more things. Nail polishes. And I have, how many do I have on the way? I have an Essie on the way that I'm hoping might be a dupe for this, which is Vamp. A classic, classic. Do you remember when this came out? I think it was right around Pulp Fiction time, but I think in Pulp Fiction, she was actually wearing Rouge Noir. And I should have done one hand with one and one hand with the other. I didn't think about it. Both of my hands are done in the vamp. The difference is the vamp has that sheen and like that pearlescent in it, whereas the Rouge Noir doesn't. Love it. Trimmed my nails. I love my nails so much more when they're short. It's just I get lazy and they grow out so fast. So these two are classics. I've had them before. Very similar to the Dior but, hmm, probably very similar to that Dior I showed you too, but I don't know, I like Chanel polishes. And I ordered, like I said, that Essie that might look close to this, and I did order the Rouge Brune from Chanel. I tried to order it, I ordered some of this stuff from Barbara at Saks, and she didn't have that color. So that is something else. And let me do a quick outfit of the day and I'll let you go. Okay, I love the waist height. I would say this is mid-rise. A lot of times, oh, and this is a medium. A lot of times when you get a skirt like this, you have to wear them way up. But I do like the way this hangs. And I think a bodysuit would look good, but I think a different texture, like a ribbed tank top is what looks the best or something with a different texture than the silkiness. And then I thought these shoes could not be any more perfect for this look because they have that funky heel and I just think they're perfect. So, love this. I just think this skirt is amazing. I think it will look good with a sweatshirt and ankle boots. Just, it's, a, it's an all year round color and it's just, it's beautiful. It makes me happy. And then for accessories today, I just could not resist. You guys know I love their, what is it about these earrings? They're just fabulous in every way. And I just felt like they kind of went with the skirt a little bit. They're Miranda Fry. And I've got my whole Miranda Fry set on because I just love it. And my Rolex watch and oh, the fragrance. Okay, I have worn this twice and loved it. And I could have sworn, yeah, here it is. It was a sample I got in one of my packages. You can see I've almost used it up. Oh, I'm gonna spray it again. Oh, it's so good. It is Flower Bomb Nectar. And I'm sure y'all are thinking, duh, it's probably old and it's probably something everybody loves. But the original Flower Bomb, I like it, but it's too strong. It's just, I couldn't wear it now. This is, amazing and I have a surprise fragrance coming soon that is like talked about that I will talk about next week. So this is awesome too. I think, wow, what a great gift it would be and a gift to yourself. So thank you so much for being here and I will see you probably this weekend. See you then. Bye-bye.